The past of SodaBot. Legend has it that one day there was a meteor shower, and one of these meteors brought something unusual. It was the SodaBot, a powerful robot with a small problem. He needed soda to stay alive. That's when the mighty Lord Gorkil found him and promised him all the soda in the world. If only he could eliminate the thirst of all children with lots of soda. But it seems that a lot of soda is bad, even for the mighty soda bot. Isn't that right? <laughs> Is that you? Hello! We want to know more about you! Like, for example, what's your favorite drink? Mm, I've had my fair share of soda for today, thank you! Hey! Wow! All in one go! Is that bad for you? Okay? Wow! Let's give him a little privacy! See you later, guys! <laughs> the past of Rambrocolis! One day, the father of Rambrocolis said, Never allow injustice to prevail, my son. Fight for justice. Rambrocolis took the advice to heart and became the master of all fights imaginable. Even video game fights! The considerate Ram Brocolis is always helping his friend Carl fight against danger! Hi, Ram Brocolis! How is your fight against injustice in the world of food going? <laughs> and that hair! How many bottles of shampoo do you use on it? <laughs> is it true your life is 100% action and adventure? <laughs> wow! Look at Carl! Go, Rambrocolis! Oops! We'd better stop recording! <laughs> I think his great exit didn't work out too well! <laughs> the past of Bogo! They say there is a gym that prepares young fighters for the great cosmic tournament of the Star Warriors. Bogo was one of these young fighters. The brave Bogo stood out from the rest and was chosen to represent the school. The prize would be the magic cosmic armor of Canis Bronze. His victory was certain, but what he didn't know was that the tournament would be in the constellation of Canis Major. And that's how everyone discovered Bogo's biggest fear. Puppies! Oh, how cute. Hello, Puggy Woogie. Uh, what are you doing here? <laughs> Is, is that you? Oh, powerful boxer of the sausage! Uh, why were you locked up? Uh, hey, Bogo! Uh, uh, you, you know it wasn't me who put you there, right? Uh, Bogo? Uh, Bogo, where are you going? Uh, Bogo! Uh, folks, uh, I gotta get going! I just remember I have an appointment! <laughs> no! 
the past of Almondagoni. This is the story of the mighty Almondagoni. His life changed after he was adopted by the dreaded, well, I'd rather not say his name. Since he was little, he has always bothered many with his powerful tone of voice. Following the order of his mentor, he ruled the underworld of saturated fats. His goal is to spread fat all over the world. He was soon known by many and respected by all. The Mighty Homo Dagoni! Hello, Mighty Almondagoni! How are you? Hey, hey, wait a minute. What? Why are you all black and white? Oh, wow! Good! A lot better! And, and, and what is that cheeky hat you have? Is it where you, you... Oh, oh okay, you're, you're going crazy. Uh, I get it. Oh, you're ignoring me. <laughs> Fine. Okay, stop, stop. It's hurting already. Enough. There's my camera. of Toppenheimer. The genius Toppenheimer grew up on a little asteroid top A113 on the Granulaton galaxy. His whole life was dedicated to play video games that he created until the day that the mighty Lord Gorko showed up at his house and presented his evil proposal. Toppenheimer must use all his genius to build a super weapon that could turn entire planets into ice cream granulated toppings. And so Toppenheimer made his mission into his own game. And today he amuses himself, turning planets and galaxies into toppings. <laughs> Dr. Toppenheimer? Are you busy attacking enemies? I see. <laughs> hey, what a lovely mustache you have. Uh, do you trim it every day? What's that on your head? A bunch of colorful granulated toppings to put on ice cream? Oh, well then, there's not much space left for a brain to fit in there, right? Oh, oh, easy! I was joking! The past of Cake Pig. Legend has it that one day the mighty dark being Lord Gorko was bored and decided to get a pet. So he ordered his henchman, Almo Digoni, to get one for him. After a lot of searching, he found the perfect pet. It was Cake Pig. Gorko loved it. But a short time later, not even Lord Gorko could bear living in the same space with the messy animal. And so Cake Pig was exiled to the smelly forest where he lived with a real king of the jungle. Wake up, please! I need I need to interview you! Oh, yuck! <laughs> How gross! <laughs> oh, and smelly! Oh, mm. oh so, so I can't be honest with you? Is that it? The past 
Ghosts of Karnak! One of the first followers of Lord Gorkul is Mighty Karnak! Pharaoh of the land of the Great Pyramids of Meringues, Karnak conquered many lands with his army of statues. Although it's very difficult to lead an army that prefers to stand and pose, Today, his empire is vast, and he is still covering the whole world with his meringues! <laughs> Mighty Karnak, uh, how are you? What do you have in your hand? Is it something sweet? Could it be meringues? No, 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 no thank you. Uh, can I call you Big Meringue? Wow! Your, your statues, uh, they're, they're alive? <laughs> right then, okay, Karnak, until next time. <laughs> of Pophorn. This is the story of Pophorn, son of the mighty king of the icy ridges of microwave popcorn. His father trained him day and night so he could become a great warrior like his father. But to become a real and powerful Viking, Pophorn had to complete an arduous mission, defeat the strong king of the village of Corns and pillage his lands. Pophorn received help. One day he beat his grandfather, Pipoxen, the mighty axe of Horn. From the sorcerer Michael Pop, he learned the secrets of red magic. Feeling prepared, Popcorn led the attack on the village of Corns. Those who survived the attack say there is nothing left. And that's how he conquered the throne of the village and its tower. <laughs> hi, hi, Popcorn. How are you? <laughs> Besides the cold, that large Viking beard you have, made of microwave popcorn. <laughs> it's a little too yellow because of the butter, isn't it? Uh, wait, wait, let's talk about your great tower. <laughs> I mean, it's not that big, is it? <laughs> uh, calm down. Wait, go, go. A bubble gun. Years ago, there was a terrible war of the chewy candy. The army of gums created a super soldier that could be used as an ultimate weapon to win the war. It was Bubble Gun. Bubble Gun can fire dozens of gum balls per second to shoot down enemies, destroy entire fortresses and indulge children's need for candy. Today, he's locked up in the cage Carl put him in. But how long do you think he'll stay there? <laughs> How's life in prison? Uh, wh wh what an odd looking bed. Uh, uh, did, did, did you make it with gum? Uh, and, and, and what about her? Is she your girlfriend? Uh huh? Huh? Fine. You don't feel like talking much today, huh? Uh, wh what? What? He ran away! Uh, guards! 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 Uh, sorry, guys! Oh, 
Ha, 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 ha,